How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today, I'm gonna show you one of the things that I eat for lunch on a typical day. I have over here some noodles. It's just straight noodles. And this pack costs about $5. There's 15 servings. So it's a lot cheaper than ramen noodles even, maybe like about a third cheaper than typical ones, but it doesn't come with seasoning packets. This is a good and bad thing. It's good because you can make it a lot healthier. It's bad because, well, you gotta figure out some way to do it. This is a secret sauce. You don't actually have to do this. I just happen to have this better than bouillon. If I don't have this, I might just put in a mixture of like soy sauce and other kinds of seasoning. But since I have this, I'm gonna use this today. Boil some water. Boil some more water. Sometimes when you're waiting for this filter, I have some extra water here. So I'm just gonna split it between the two bowls. And later on, I'll just add more to this as it boils. This is a lot quicker. This pot shows two cups is to that line. I have about one and a half cups of, this is gonna be my base of my soup. One teaspoon of better than bouillon in there. That's about one teaspoon. I have some tomato paste here. I got in the habit of adding a little bit of tomato paste in my soup. If you don't like tomato flavor, it's fine. You don't have to add it. Little bit of garlic powder. Little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. This gives it a little spicy taste. I find that if you layer the flavors, it gives it a bit more complex flavor rather than, you know, just something that's just slightly salty. I got some gluten-free soy sauce here. You can just use regular soy sauce. I'm gonna put about, about one teaspoon one and a, yeah, just a little bit right there. One teaspoon. And you just kind of mix it up. Just let it boil. Because I stole some water from here, I can add it a little bit back for the amount of noodles I want to cook. Just get one packet of this right here. And to make all this a complete meal, I'm adding a little bit of fiber, which is four sweet mini peppers. Rinse it a little bit and they're ready to eat just like that. We're multitasking here. I wanna do it very quickly. Put those in for two minutes. I'm setting a timer for two minutes. Agitate it a little bit so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. I have some frozen wild caught salmon over here. This is the protein that is going to go in my noodles because this is not really gonna cook very well and I'm kind of lazy. So I'm just gonna cut it into uh, slices and dip it into the broth. So here we go. Let's just cut this into slices. Just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You got slices of salmon and I got some mini Bella. It's been two minutes. I gotta drain this. Make sure not more than two minutes and drain this. Add some water here and then it just cools it down, stops it from cooking. But you don't want to cool it down too much because then it, the noodles get cold. Yeah, this is kind of warm over here. I just wash it w once and then I'm gonna pour it back out. And make sure not to toss it too much because now I am draining the water so most of the water goes away because if there's a lot of water content in here, you dilute your soup. And when you're tossing this up and down, it's kind of like what those ramen people do. You're using the forces of gravity to, to pull the water down, water out, and always stare at your noodles. Because if, if you just kind of do this while looking at where the water goes, your noodles might flop out and drop in your sink and that's all gross and stuff. So now the noodles is all ready. We're gonna put this in a bowl, put my noodles in. If you got green onion, cut some up and put it in there. It makes it taste better. You just, just whatever you have in the kitchen. It's, it's like mumbo jumbo type of eat whatever noodle. I am now back here. I'm gonna put in some mushrooms because it's gonna make it taste a lot better. I just happened to buy these just now. Let's cut them up a little bit so that they do cook well. I find that the texture of these mushrooms taste a lot better if you cut them in the forks like this rather than slices. So we're done cutting up our ingredients so we're gonna toss into the soup. Now we're gonna add in all our ingredients here, the mushrooms and also all the salmon. The secret to this is you don't want to overcook your salmon. You wanna just kind of mix it in there and then bring it to a boil. You might want to add in a little bit of olive oil. It just kind of coats the noodles a little bit, makes the texture a little bit smoother. So the salmon doesn't really take long to cook. I just wanna bring it to a boil to make sure uh, any kind of bacteria is cooked off. It's only been in there like less than a minute. So I'm gonna Put the soup in here, put all the salmon on top. And there you have it. This is my meal. 
if I weren't recording, it would have taken me much less time, maybe about 10 minutes from getting into the kitchen to coming out with a bowl of noodles. This is really quick. So let's give the noodles a little try. Mm, it's al dente. The soup is extra flavorful. I actually made this very same thing with scallops for like four or five times. This is the first time I added salmon and mushroom because I just happen to have some kind of protein that I need to put in. So whatever protein you have, if you have like slices of beef, put it in there, you know, wh whatever it is. It's just kind of like mumbo jumbo of everything. It's like the gumbo almost. And then the mushroom and more noodles. Peppers, this is the fiber. It tastes a little sweet. Um, if you haven't had this, I mean, it might be a little weird because it's kind of crunchy. So because it's so cold, I like to eat it with the noodles. After you eat this, your mouth is a little cold and then you balance it with, you know, drinking some soup and then it just kind of evens out. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this really, really quick noodle. I eat this quite often and thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more.